I found out about the human animal wildlife crisis and the poaching crisis and then I started to research it. The more I researched, the worse the information got. But I started to hear about some incredible women who were doing remarkable things. I thought, I'm a filmmaker. What I can do is tell their stories. We traveled all over Africa, and this is what they had to say. In our culture, the men are always superior to the women. If you are women in power, you have to be strong. You have to be able to stand your ground and stand for yourself. Initially, we were focused on habitat management and fire management, but it shifted significantly towards anti-poaching, rhino protection, because we so overwhelmed with the, with the rhino poaching crisis. How many other women hold this position? None that I know of. There were two little babies and they had their horns hacked off. The staff there were tied up, beaten, assaulted, raped. But the first time I saw a rhino carcass after it had been poached, my sisters went in the vehicle with me. And... The greatest threat to this planet is the belief that someone else will save it. We need to stand together. They said, we are here to kill you. I pleaded with them. If they kill me, they must stop. If you look after the rhino, you will look after the bird. You will look after the antelope. It is, it is realistic thinking. With our culture, we are supposed to bow. You will find that our daughters will not bow down. There's poverty, there's corruption, and there's greed. But on the other hand, there's fight, there's hope, and there's love.